Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, showing you every uh, shortcut in all of Thunder Run Racing. So I know I haven't been here playing uh, Skull of Dragons or my YouTube channel for a very long time. I think it's been a year now, but I'm back and ready to go. So first we have Trench dry Dive. Um, there is no hack or shortcut in this one. There is like a few nooks and crannies you can fly through, but nothing to change your game as much. So we have a Twisted Rock. There is, in fact, um, an illegitimate shortcut in here. So I'll be demonstrating it as so. And here we go. So basically, you just don't want to do the track as normal. And you come through here. Oh, I missed that ring. My computer is so bad right now. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh my poor computer, it is lagging. It is lagging so much. I promise guys, I do not suck this much. But, oh my god, my computer hates me. Uh, everything is dying. Um, uh, okay. So, you just passed that part, I failed that part. But now, you wanna come up, and you wanna stay right next to the mountain and then you want to dive in and then you're right at the finish line so frozen warriors as far as i'm concerned there is no shortcut um nightmare tide there isn't poison valley it they do wait let me check something real quick never mind i'm pretty sure frozen warriors does have one so as far as i'm concerned this is a legitimate shortcut which means it's been put in the game, people want to. Now, I think this is going to be really weird for me because of how glitchy I am. It's just that extra part right there that I just went through. Um, you want to definitely slow down there because it is um, a pretty tight turn. You want like a good turning dragon, like uh, Night Fury, Light Fury night terror those guys so that's what you're looking for in there next i'm pretty sure it's poison valley yeah so nightmare tide as far as i'm concerned has no uh, legitimate or illegitimate shortcut and poison valley does have in fact two illegitimate sh shortcuts and one legitimate shortcut so I'll show you that. So this shortcut, this illegitimate shortcut, a lot of people know. So if you're ever racing any of the good or experienced people, you have to use this one or else you don't stand a chance. And then you just dive down. You saw I went through the crevices of those two trees. Here's a legitimate shortcut. Take the short one and then you want to come down here. Like so, now for the second illegitimate one, you have to make sure you get this green ring f first. And then you want to come through here and you get a head start in front of everybody. And you go and get the green ring and, pers um, and continue as normal. So I just lap here. Shortcuts, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, these shortcuts you do want to know, especially the first one, it is going to save you a lot of time. It's going to make racing other people so much easier. So after Poison Valley, Woolly Canyon, there is one legitimate, um, uh, legitimate hack through this, not hack, I'm sorry, shortcut. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people know it since Woolly Valley, Woolly Canyon, I think, is the oldest racetrack, and I'm pretty sure it was the first one, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, a lot of people know this one, I'm just going to go over it. It's this one right here, so you see that farther side up there. Oh my god, my flying is so horrible because I'm lagging out really badly. It's just there. You saw where I go. I didn't go through the long one, and you saw that long one over there. And I'm going to die because my computer is dying. But you just proceed through the racetrack like so normally. I don't know if you can see the lag 
it is so laggy. I'm sorry, guys. So there's that one. It's not even like really a shortcut since everyone knows it. Like, you have to be pretty new to not know it. So next we have Fortune Falls. This is a shortcut. Well, it's not even really a shortcut. The times I've used it, it hasn't worked that great. That basically I've only seen one person besides myself that has used the shortcut. And it's really like, like, it doesn't work <laughs> as well as the other ones. It, if, in my opinion, you should not use it, especially the fact that, like, no one knows about it. But I am still going to show it to you, uh, for old time's sake, but it's, it's not, like, a really good, and it's illegit, so I, I don't care, I'm going to skip. And you see up here, there's a little hole, and you can kind of come through it and then come down so you don't have to go through the waterfall. Now, I've this is a very um, uh, dangerous one in my opinion because I've gotten stuck while using it. Oh my god, it's so laggy. I've gotten stuck on the rocks. You, if you, you have to be really careful. You can get stuck very easily, especially if you don't have a really nice maneuvering dragon. It's super risky. You have to be really good to utilize it really well. And in my opinion, I don't use it, but it's still a good thing to know. And no one knows about it. So hey, I, I did learn it from a player I was racing. But that's about it. I've only seen one person use it. It's pretty, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's either not good or no one knows about it. So we have Geyser Maze here, and I'm probably going to die on Gronkle Run because I'm so laggy right now. So basically you just come up through there and then you come up onto the shorter one right here. And you can just see it works like so, I don't care about the green rings, I'm not racing anyone. And the one on the side, aka the small map. Uh, the small route that you can see on your map is indeed faster, so you should use that one. Now, you do have to do the green rings. I'm not because I'm just showing you it. You saw it, and please don't die on me. Gronkle Run, I'm pretty sure is the next one, if I'm not mistaken. Never mind, it's Forbidding Ice. So with Forbidding Ice, there is no... Uh, really big uh, shortcut. There are some small nooks and crannies that you can kind of weave yourself in. You will be able to learn those really easily. I'm not going to show you because there's nothing uh, big or of importance in Forbidding Ice. But it does have a nice wide section that you can see right here which is really good to use speed boosts because there's no walls to bump into. Now for Gronkle Run. Gronkle Run does not have any shortcuts anymore. So Snoggle Tog Raceway, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't have um, any shortcuts either. Uh, there are some nooks and crannies here and there that you can crawl into. Those are pretty easy to learn, nothing too big of a concern. So there we have all the important illegitimate and legitimate shortcuts in Thunder Run Racing and I can barely move right now. Okay, so I pro think I might have gotten like kicked out. I'm not sure. I don't care. I'm not racing today anyways. So my computer, as you can see, has already like died. There's the video. Hope you enjoy. Hope this makes you race better and goodbye.